my shoe. <laughs> Which one of you ate my shoe? Was it you? Was it you? The team's gone away, so I'm uh, house sitting because someone's got to look after these little monkeys. <laughs> Um, but his internet is absolutely shocking. So I've upgraded him to fiber, which is actually cheaper than what he was paying before. It's okay, he did say I could. Fiber's like super, super duper. So the engineer's just come round to do that now. Um, but he's gone to get some more cable because he hasn't got enough. And then when Tim's come back, he'll have like super amazing internet for a cheaper price. He's gonna be super happy, isn't he? What do you think? Bless him. He's got to run a cable all the way down from up there, all the way down to here. That's quite a long way. He said he had 105 metres on his of cable, but he wasn't sure if that was enough. So he went to get some more. He got back really quickly. Bless him. Now, he, now he's going to have to lay that cable all the way down the lane. I'm now armed with everything I need to create my kitchen, ready to go. That's the shoe rack, and this is a smaller one. I'm going to put a bit of this one on top of that one. It should attach on the top now to make it exactly it's too high, so I'm going to have to chop a little bit more off the legs. Um, and the bottom one is to long it's poking out because they're different shoe backs. I'm thinking if I chop all down here, cut out that bit and cut along there, this should just move in. I make myself laugh at my own inventions sometimes. <laughs> this is stuck back together with all of those. It's not very sturdy but don't worry because once I've put all my wood slatten on it will. So I've now just got to attach this somehow on here. This is what we've ended up with. That's the repair. It's careful because that's got glue drying. And then we've just got lots of things on there just keeping it together. So that should now in theory sit on the top of here. Shush! It's the, it's the fibre engineer! Shush! Rodney! Shush! Oh, those bloody dogs. Oh, you are actually putting a full box on the wall. Yeah, so I can't really put it any lower because it's got, like a, it's got this annoying closure, so I wouldn't be able to close it or open it, so it has to go roughly here. Like oh, okay. Did you have to pull that wire all the way from up there? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Quite, quite the pull. <laughs> you sure you don't want a cup of tea? All of these three bottom things, halfway has got to come out. I've got to cut it out because I still need to open this door. See what I've done here? I can't put it upright because it's going to fall apart, but I've basically cut the shelves off. I'm going to save these bits because I'll probably be able to make something out of them. Not sure, but I'm not going to waste them. Let's put them over there. Gosh, I'm saying my dad's daughter. <laughs> now I'm going to have to nail this strut on because I need a leg. Let's get in there. That's the hardest bit done. Love this slatted wood. We use it for literally everything, don't I? I'm just going to slat all the way along the back. But it's coming on. Oh, it looks like a proper little kitchen. <laughs> Not bad from a shoe rack. <laughs> Job on a building site. <laughs> Look at that craftsmanship. Everything's bolted. I think that's pretty good. Being there, it was a shoe rack. I'm going to call it shabby chic because I'm bored of painting it. <laughs> and I think I'm going to wallpaper the shelves because I can't be bothered to paint all the little struts of wood. 
It's actually looking really good though, isn't it? Not bad for a DIY job. And this is the wallpaper I'm going to put on the shelves. <laughs> Don't look too close. Looks all right. Till you go under there. <laughs> Realise it was a shoe rack. It's been put together with a hundred million screw things. <laughs> it's a little bit wonky, <laughs> so I'm going to have to get a, a bracket that goes from there onto this shelf um, and affixes in between there just to keep it a little bit strange. 